Welcome to Church of Hot Sauce. I am Pepper Bay. Uh, and as always, may the spice be with you and also with you. Today's a wonderful, wonderful day on this Sunday, March March 10th. It's already March 10th. My goodness. Um, it's a little cold out here in Georgia. I'm definitely excited for the uh, warm weather to be coming through. Tired of being a little bit cold, if I'm being honest. So excited for that. Um, uh, hope hopefully everybody remember to set their clocks differently. I know we are in a golden age where we have cell phones that are able to be, you know, just automatically switch themselves at uh, at one o'clock or midnight whenever that happens. Um, so that's very convenient for most of us. Um, but if not, hopefully you didn't have to work and that didn't mess up your work schedule and you didn't have to miss work because uh, it is a Sunday. So Today we've got a uh, really, really fun day. Uh, I'm excited. Hopefully you're excited as well. Um, got a couple different sauces that we're going to try as well as some spice blends uh, from over from our friends over at TNT Spices. We've got a hot sauce um our first international hot sauce on the show from Eaton's. Uh, it's a Jamaican hot sauce. Um, very excited. A friend of mine from work, uh, Smalls, he uh, brought me some hot sauce back from Jamaica. Very nice of him. So I'm going to go ahead and review that today on the show. Uh, as well as a sauce from our dear friends over at High Desert Sauce Company. Zach, he's the best. He's my sponsor. He's literally, if the bees had knees, they would be Zach. So we're going to be trying some Ghost Racha, uh, reviewing that as well. And then we'll, we've got, right now I've got seven spice blends from TNT. We'll probably get through four of those. So that'll be fun. Also, for those that were, have been paying attention and uh, what's up, Eric? And have been filling out um, the proper stuff to be able to enter the contest. I drew a winner from that contest. So that winner will be announced at the end of the episode. Looking forward to that. And I will get that person's information after the show is over. Um, and we'll get those bottles to you right away. So that you can enjoy them as well. So let's get started uh, a couple things uh you've got two new challenges that have come out to league of fire um one of them is the what the fudge challenge um obviously a fudge related sweet challenge that should be very fun that's available at the league of fire um uh, website as well as the smelly fish challenge which uh, I'm super excited for I think I'll get that just to specifically do on here um, it's a smelly fit not only is it a hot challenge but it should be a challenge to you because it's smelly and it's fish so what better person to try it than somebody the last name of Fisher so I will be getting that challenge and I uh, will be going ahead and uh, giving that a try in here as well eventually um, I hope everybody's having a wonderful day, and let's get into it. Uh, oh, super excited about this. I don't know if anybody saw this, uh, but Dr. Squatch came out with a uh, jalapeno um, bar of soap. So I'm super excited about that. I will give a review on this. Uh, not Obviously not in the show, but uh, there, watch for you the YouTube video that will be out. Um, I'm super excited about this. I bought one just to put on the shelf because I think it's absolutely hysterical that they came out with it uh, and then one to try out uh, specifically. So let's get into it. Um, let's go ahead and start with some of these uh, spice blends. Let's see what we got going on here. Oh, I'm going to use it on my jalapeno. Use it on my jalapeno and see if it burns or not. Okay, let's go with these. This, this this and this okay so let's go ahead and start off with some of these spice rubs uh, from TNT spices out in Pennsylvania um, definitely become friends of the show 
Uh, they loved my review so much that they decided to send me the rest of their products um, from ones that they had already sent. So I've got all these delicious spice blends to try out, and I'm super excited for that because I love using spice blends on my stuff. Um, just honestly, so I, I've been eating a lot of chicken lately, trying to get get a little leaner. Um, so I love having spice blends. We're going to start off with this one first. It's going to be the Dad's Secret Barbecue Rub. Classified and confidential. I love the logos on these. They're definitely well done logos. Um, uh, loving the art. Loving the way that they do their thing. For an up and coming company there, it's very exciting. We got brown sugar, ground coffee, ancho chilies, chipotle chilies, paprika, salt, mustard. Uh, a curry blend, which is going to be cumin, cardamom, coriander, mustard, turmeric, and cayenne. We got cardamom. Garlic powder, onion powder, ginger, and allspice. That's going to be the dad's secret barbecue rub. Not so secret when there's the ingredients are listed, but still very secret. <laughs> so let's go ahead and open these up here. Let's see what we got going on smell-wise. Okay, interesting. You can definitely tell you first you get like that that blended curry smell uh, right away. Those different attributes coming in through that that blend, um, but at the very tail end you get that allspice smell. Mm. How's it going, Beth? Mm, that brown sugar pops a little bit too with that allspice ending. Oh, this is gonna be interesting, guys. Go ahead and cleanse my palate here. Mm. The spoonful. The colors are absolutely fantastic. Um, I love, if you can see that, the the way the powder is pulsed up, it's not a finite powder. So it gives you a little bit better coverage, um, especially if you're dealing with something that's a little moister. Um, a little or a little more moist however you verbalize that um, um, it's going to be able to envelop into the meat a little bit better mm. okay okay that brown sugar definitely hits I get that 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 sweetness from the brown sugar, but not overpowering in an overpowering sense. And it goes right into the curry flavor. That cardamom. Mmm. That's delicious. Um, that coffee. There is definitely a coffee base that's in there. Mmm. I'm going to put this on some chicken tonight. I got a meal prep for the week. Mmm. You definitely get a little bit of garlic. It's a great subtle undertone. So if you wanted to use this, let's say that you wanted to start with a rub on a piece of protein and finish with a sauce later on, like a, or like a glaze to finish it, that where they, they'd play well together and it wouldn't be overpowering if you did both. This is phenomenal. This is definitely a great start to a piece of protein. Mmm. Mm. great round of flavors um, it's not spicy um, but you definitely get like those those classic pepper flavors uh, like in the ancho and the, you know the paprika people forget paprika is pe dried peppers um, but the ancho and chipotle come out with a nice subtlety uh, that just gives like that coffee and the curry and the allspice a nice roundedness and a, a, a very level pl flavor profile. Hey, Brandon. Mr. Honey Boy Collins. Um, very, very delicious. That's a great spice blend for putting on a piece of protein. Um, I'd give that a absolutely solid 9 out of 10 for a spice blend. 
use this on chicken, pork, beef. Uh, my preferably would probably be a chicken to finish with a barbecue glaze or something like that. That's delicious. Um, definitely a solid 9 out of 10 for that. Next up, we got the Apple Spice Barbecue Rub. Apple Spice Barbecue Rub. Look at that. Again, look at the, the artwork. It's like, it's so well suited for each individual item that they've got going on. Um, you definitely get like the holiday or you're going to you get that, that, mm, that hometown feeling with that. I love it. There's no ingredient list on this one. So it's a mystery. It's a mystery I'm going to try to figure out. Let's see if my, uh, see how good my, my taste buds really are. And maybe uh, t our friends at TNT Spices can let me know if I was right or wrong. <laughs> we shall see. Or yeah, it just might be a secret and they don't want to tell nobody. And that's okay. <laughs> Go ahead and cleanse my palate here. Mm. Ian, what's up, my guy? Oh my goodness. This automatically is it like, it's like holidays up in your nose. Wow. Um... You definitely get a cinnamon, you get an apple, you get like oh, not an all spice, all spice necessarily, uh, but almost like a like a fruit cake kind of vibe, or like a spiced cider. Hmm. Okay. Definitely a lot finer powder with this one. in the shot so the YouTube algorithm picks that up for the thumbnail. <laughs> this is the apple spice barbecue rub. Cinnamon, not too in your face. Um, I think there's some regular sugar in there. I'm not quite sure. I don't, I'm not getting the brown sugar aspect on that one. But cinnamon, a dehydrated apple, a very, very beautiful embrace of a dehydrated apple going on right there. Mm. This on some seared pork ribs would be out of this world. Out of this world. Tell them I'm getting onion or garlic in the background of that. That's really delicious. It's subtle. It's got great depth and notes of flavor going on. Mmm. This on a pork chop would also just, oh, would kill it. Wow. Wow. That's really nice. A very unique flavor profile. One that I can definitely get behind. That's a solid 9 out of 10. Um, I think that's my favorite so far. I don't know what the ingredient list is, but that's a really, really great job. Um, and very unique. Very holiday kind of vibe. But at the same time, um, something that would be great for bringing out that, that beautiful flavor that you get out of protein. Um, if you wanted to go sweet aspect on a burger profile, I could maybe some Gruyere cheese. I could totally see that being used in that as well. Very, very unique. Mm. Okay. Moving right along. We got our Luan Way. Oh! Let my people go. We got the Louie Louie Spice Blend. Obviously, we're going to be getting some uh, pineapple vibes going on with this one. Again, loving the... Um, what is... Oh, it's a little honey. Little, little honey guy holding some beer right there. I'm loving the vibes on this label again. Um, 
great labels great artwork on the labels gotta absolutely love it from tnt spices um, they're doing good things out there from pennsylvania let's see here all right ingredients wise you got pineapple brown sugar uh honey beer paprika msg salt tahine hickory smoke coriander szechuan peppercorns chipotle and ghost pepper this is honey boy i'm sure this would be perfect for you buddy See what we got going on as far as the smell profile goes. Ooh. That uh, I don't know for all, those of you that haven't had Szechuan peppercorns, they almost give you a buzz, uh, kind of like a mouth feel going on. Um, like they almost make your taste buds vibrate. Um, that's definitely what I'm getting from the smell. Ooh, that's interesting. That's really interesting. Um, wow. Uh, very, very, like you'd think it would be overly sweet with what I just listed as the ingredient list. The savoriness of the smell is very, very unique. Um, almost like a, almost like a, like a lemon pepper, kind of like a vibe to it, uh, but, but with like a lot further depth of flavor. Ooh, this is really intriguing. Whoa, not what I was expecting. Okay. Right away the hickory smoke comes through. Right in your face. Wow. Right away, it's the hickory smoke. It's the pineapple. Wow, wow, wow. The brown sugar and the honey come through a little bit, but not too overpowering. What you really get is the ghost pepper, the chipotle, and the peppercorns, along with that hickory smoke. That's very, very unique. I don't know if I've had a spice one like that before. My goodness. One of my favorite recipes for a pork tenderloin, uh, me and my dad came up with a few years ago. Take a pork tenderloin, butterfly it out, fill it with a couple different things, including mustard and whatever your preferred spice blend is. And then you hollow out a pineapple and you stuff it in the pineapple and you smoke it on the grill. This blend right here would be an absolutely perfection, like perfect, perfect, perfect addition to that. Mm. the depth of flavor is absolutely astounding and the burn is actually quite nice the burn is there it's maybe like a one or a two because of the ghost pepper what's up Jim it's definitely it's definitely got a flavor going on as far as the heat's concerned it hits you in the back of the throat but not too far in the back of the throat where it's like you know <laughs> it's it it's just a nice little accentuated heat that really brings out that smokiness as well as the sweetness from the pineapple. Really, really well done. That's uh, that's gonna be a 10 out of 10 for me. Um, again, not what I was expecting as far as the smell profile goes and what I got from it, but Louis Louis, again, TNT Spices out of Pennsylvania, hit them up. They've got great sauces great spice blends really really well done on this one this is this is definitely my favorite so far really really nice job wow i was not expecting that that flavor to come out of what what the smell was like especially when you're using like a smokiness when you're like using liquid smoke or what have you i don't know how they they achieve that but when you use when you're blending smoke into a flavor profile it's very hard to get right to where it's not overpowering now granted that was definitely the the lead character in that story as far as the flavor is concerned but it wasn't 
it wasn't too overpowering to where you couldn't you couldn't tell what other flavors were going on which again is very hard to do I feel like um, throughout the cooking industry is when you start adding smoke you really have to know what you're doing because it definitely gets difficult um, as far as being able to have a well roundedness to it okay next one up last one on the spice blends is going to be Norma's Latin Rub. You got the Cubano flag, the background there. Nice little frog playing the guitar. You know, he's having a good time. He's ready for a good spice blend. He's, he's getting ready. Very excited about this. Again, the artwork is absolutely phenomenal. Again, loving the Cuban flag on there. It's making me hungry for a Cubano. If you guys have never had a Cubano, go out, leave your house right now, and go get a Cuban sandwich. It's delicious. So we got going on smell-wise. Oh, the cumin. Oh, the cumin. I use I I probably use cumin like at least I don't know three four times a week, just in like something I'm cooking on the stove top. Wow. All right, you got adobo, which consists of salt, garlic powder, black pepper, oregano, onion powder, turmeric, and cumin. And you got garlic powder, onion powder, complete seasoning, which is salt, paprika, garlic powder, onion powder, thyme, oregano, white pepper, black pepper. Then you got saison, which is going to be a salt, garlic powder, coriander, cumin, and lanato, or anato, I apologize. Then you have a lemon pepper, chipotle, smoked paprika, sugar, black pepper, basil, cumin, parsley, and mixed peppercorns. Mmm. Ooh, automatically, my nose is like fajitas we're making fajitas you know when you go to a restaurant and that fajita you go to especially a latin place and you see like you know the, the server bringing that plate that of just sizzling hot fajitas right on by and you can hear it still you're like oh, i was gonna get something else but i'm getting those fajitas mm. the smell is absolutely out of this world you're getting the, the cumin. Cumin brings a lot of other stuff out. Um, the citrus with the cumin, with the layer of the peppers, the onion, the garlic. Oh my goodness! And again, I uh, love the way it's not. It's not too blended, but it's not. Uh, it's it's not like a pure powder. Um, so you're getting a little chunkiness going on, which if you're whatever you're using it on, if you're using it as a finishing product. Or if you're using it like on the pro the protein before you you sear it, it's great because it will dissolve enough to where it's not going to be there's not going to be like a gritty texture to it. Um, which if you know, there's a reason why like uh, coarse salt is like a finishing salt, like especially like on a steak because it will dissolve to a certain extent. It's not going to be super overly gritty gritty when you. Um, when you go into like that also it's cut a little bit thinner it's like a flake um, so that way it has the opportunity to dissolve because nobody wants like a grittiness when you when you bite into something that's not I, at least I don't <laughs> so oh yeah I literally I literally like on tacos on fajitas on chicken uh, you could use this instead of using that bland pre-packaged taco seasoning that you know some of us were you know hey it's been a long week and we don't want to throw a spice blend together use this in your taco meat instead oh my god oh my goodness and again 
I'm eating these spice blends straight up, and I, none of them have been overpowering to where I'm like, oh, oh, that's a lot. That's a lot of salt, or I couldn't just do this. Uh, and that shows you how well these spice blends are put together because I'm able to do that and not just be like me, <laughs> me making some kind of face from the spice blends. Mmm. Wow. The citrus, the lemon that's coming through with that is so wonderful. Wow, wow, wow. And that's Norma's Latina rub. Little frog guy jamming on his guitar. Had a good time. Just like we're having a good time. That's a 10 out of 10, guys. Um, I, I cannot wait to use this on, on some taco meat, to be honest with you. That's the first thing that comes to mind, like fajitas. If you're going to do some kind of skirt steak and sear it off and then cut it off and, and cut it up into long strips for fajitas, cook it up some bell peppers, that, that's great. But honestly, first thing that comes to mind is just some straight taco meat, some deliciousness. You know, white people taco night. You know, or you, or you can you can go crazy with it, and where they have, um, you know, where you've got you go know, those classic flavor profiles going on, and you can go all out. Have your cilantro, have your cilantro and onions, have your fresh cut limes, um, or you can just go, you know, meat, cheese, and a little bit of hot sauce. But either way, this is fantastic. Go out and get some of this. Again, from TNT Spices out of Pennsylvania. Friends of the show, really appreciate their support. Really appreciate their products and what they're trying to accomplish here. So let's go and support them. Yummy. How's it going, Mr. Savage? Mm. Yum. Okay, let's get into the sauces. Got two sauces today. First one's going to be an international sauce. It's going to be the first international sauce on the show. So, pretty excited about that. Um, a friend of mine from work went and uh, he went on a trip to Jamaica. He's hard working and he deserves a nice vacation with him and his lady. And, uh, he came back and he was like, you ever had a sauce from Jamaica? I said, no, sir, I have not, surprisingly enough. So he came in the next day and he had a bottle waiting for me. So really, really appreciative of that. <laughs> this is going to be Eaton's Jamaican Crushed Peppers. It looks like Scotch Bonnets um, on the label. Uh, and Scotch Bonnets are definitely used uh, quite a bit in Jamaican cooking. So I'd assume that that's what's in here. Really, really excited about this. And eaten this for 35 years. Jamaican crushed peppers, hot sauce. Ingredients, we got hot peppers, cane vinegar, which I've never experienced cane vinegar. I'm assuming that's vinegar made with straight cane sugar. That's super intriguing to me. Uh, water, cane sugar, cornstarch, salt, and citric acid. So again, Eaton's. I'm going to be eating it. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and give this a spoonful. The consistency is really, really interesting. Um, no shelf stabilizers, which I love. The consistency is great. It's almost like it's a syrupy uh, kind of consistency to it, which is great. Especially the use of that, that pure cane sugar has got to be helping that out. Oh, oh my. Uh, definitely getting, um, what is that? That sauce that you see in Asian markets um, with the, like a Thai chili sauce. That orange sauce that we all see when you go into an Asian market or the Asian aisle in a grocery store or the international aisle. Mm, that the sweetness that's coming off of this is, it's so different because it's of the purity. It's not like manufactured, 
like you know when you like process sugar like it's not that kind of smell it's very it's very pure and unadulterated so let's go ahead and get a shot of that viscosity oh my goodness are you kidding me right there that's beautiful it's smooth it's got some chunk to it it's just like me um it, it looks fantastic uh, we're gonna see what it's it tastes like oh, the sweet smell that's coming off of this is absolutely phenomenal guys wow that scotch bonnet is right there immediately it hits you from the, the front of your taste buds and as soon as it, it starts going back giving you a ride over your the, the envelopment your taste buds you get the cane sugar um, you get a very unique pungent tang what I'm assuming is that that cane vinegar it's very unique it's very different um, super super delicious it plays well and nice over the taste buds wow 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 um, and the citric acid is interesting because you get you get the enhancement of the peppers and the sugar that you would get from citrus but you don't get any of the citrus notes so you're not getting like a lemon or a lime you're just getting the accentuated flavors of the hot sauce from that citric acid instead of getting a flavor profile from it so that's unique in and of itself um, this on some jerk chicken all day every day um, the heat level is wonderful it's it, it's great because it's it's there right away it's in your face but not too much because that sweetness of the cane sugar has has dwindled it down a little bit it's got a little bit of a hang time um, but not enough to where you know it's catching you in the back of the throat it stops before it hits you in the back part of that palate really 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 great flavor uh, that's a solid uh, a seven and a half eight out of ten really really great flavor from Eaton's um, spice wise I'd probably give that a nice little two and a half out of three two and a half or three out of, out of ten um, nothing wrong with that uh, just enough to get you get you sweating a little bit if you you know if you went through a whole bunch uh, but but not enough to where your, your tummy's gonna be rumbling later so wow that's super good and that is that was I'm, I'm super pleasantly surprised with that one again yeah, that's gonna be Eaton's crushed peppers it's Jimmy the Jamaican 35 years of quality manufacturing out of Jamaica, Eaton's Crushed Peppers. And last but not least for the day, we got uh, one of my favorites as far as the manufacturers. For those that don't know, um, I started being sponsored um, with like my pepper eating competitions and stuff like that. Uh, by Mr. Zach Perkins from High Desert Sauce Company. He's an absolutely amazing individual. He's such good people. He's kind. He's caring. He is. He has done so much for me um, by just reaching out and and being a really true friend and more than just a sponsor. Uh, I appreciate everything that he does for this community. Um, every year he's got a sauce that you know that the part of the profits go to helping somebody out. Um, he's everything that this this community is supposed to be about and uh, speaking of those this is gonna be uh, one of those red label lines that helps out uh, a family in need this one right here is gonna be the ghost racha um, it's a three out of five on the skull scale right there get high desert sauce company out of Sedona Arizona yeah, Zach, Zach's one of the best guys out there. Um, anybody that's fresh into the community that, you know, wants to know, like, how you should be, like, Zach is, is uh, he's not going to admit it because he's a very humble guy, um, and he doesn't like the spotlight on himself too much, but uh, he's one of the best, uh, and he's one of the reasons why this community is so great. Okay, ingredients, we got pepper mash, which is going to be water, red bell pepper, ghost pepper, Chiltepin pepper, distilled vinegar, garlic, agave nectar, and kosher salt. Um, I love 
that Zach uses agave nectar. It's very cool because it's not a it's not a it's like a it's like a way it's a sweetener without using processed sugars. Um, and it brings its own little flavor profile along with it. So I think people some people use honey, some people use agave nectar. Um, there's like cane sugar, like there's different ways that you can add sweetness without using processed sugars. I love it when somebody is in, yeah, it, they use their ingenuity um, and they, they bring that, that aspect of skill and talent into their hot sauces like that. And I love that Zach does that. Okay, cleanse the palate real quick. Go ahead and give this guy a smell here. Oh my goodness. And exactly what you would want. Um, it's not, it's, it's like your classic sriracha smell, but more dignified. <laughs> so, more balance and depth of flavor a little bit. And there's nothing, there's nothing that wrong with that. Uh, I'm not, I'm just, I'm not going to butcher the name. Uh, you know, the Red Rooster. Uh, that's all I'm going to say. Uh, that sriracha sauce. But you can definitely tell that more thought has been put into this a little bit. Maybe a little bit better ingredients to make a more quality sauce going on. Mmm. And this is Ghost Racha by High Desert Sauce Company. We're going to go ahead and give this bad boy a try here. Let's go ahead and get a viewpoint of that consistency. Come on. Oh, my. Look at that. And no shelf stabilizers, nothing like that. Zach knows what he's doing. And I love and appreciate that. Cheers. Mm. Okay. Um, so right away you get the splash of sweetness from the agave nectar. And then you get like that, it's almost like a, it's like the chiltepin. Mm. What is that? The Chiltepin and the Ghost Pepper. It's like you almost get like a, not like a seaweedy kind of flavor, but like a, a different kind of savoriness. Um, man. And that heat stays a little bit with you, which is really, really nice. Wow. It's a great pepper mash. Um, you can definitely tell like the fermenting of it gives it huge depth and flavor and lets that lets that pepper flavor really get enhanced and really lets it become the star of the show. Um, even now the, the heat is still building. <laughs> so that's awesome. I'd give that a nice four on the heat level. That's really awesome. Mmm. Yeah, really nice rise and fall on that heat level. Uh, so right now it's starting to go down finally. Um, that's beautiful. Um, this is really good, Zach. Uh, this is one of the few sauces that I hadn't tried for him yet. So I had him send me over some. Again, love the sponsorship. We always appreciate Zach over here at, high, at um, Church of Hot Sauce. I does her sauce company, Ghost Racha. I'd give this a solid, solid 8.7 out of 10. As far as the flavor is concerned, it's a beautiful sriracha. Different, but uh, but like the same thing that you're looking for in a nice sriracha. Um, the heat level is updated. It's on a different, definitely its own little level right there. Um, I'd give, again, the heat level 4 out of 10. The flavor is going to be, an, again, a nice, you know, 8.7.
that's delicious. That is absolutely phenomenal. Again, Ghost Racha from High Desert Sauce Company out of Sedona, Arizona. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. Oh, my. All right. Well... <laughs> Sorry, just letting that heat go down a little bit. Um, so uh, I already did the drawing for the uh, the, the giveaway, um, and surprisingly enough, I'm so glad that he's in the chat right now. Uh, but Mr. J Savage, congratulations! You are our giveaway winner, and uh, I'm gonna uh, send you a private message a little later after the show. Uh, we'll get your address and we'll get the bottle of um, we'll get you a bottle of that uh, Blazin Asian and we'll get you a bottle of that Doc's Fusion Fuel um, so I'm very excited to see what you think of both of those uh, and very much appreciate the support and uh, following instructions because some people didn't know how to uh, follow instructions on entering that contest so I appreciate you brother uh, and I hope you like those. Again, we'll, we'll get with you after the show and, and get those over to you. Uh, and thanks again to um, Mighty Mustache and Aria. Uh, I really, really appreciate um, them donating a bottle for the giveaway. Um, go check them out. Grumpy, De or, uh, Grumpy Hot Sauce LLC. Grumpy Sauce LLC. I'm so sorry. Um, and uh, go check them out. They've got a, an absolute hit on their hands with the sauce that they just put out. Um, and it's, it's, it's been hard to come by. They've been selling out left and right. So Jay, enjoy that. Um, and let me know what you think of it. Let them know what you think of it. Um, today on today's show, we're going to get into the spicy sermon and, uh, we're going to get into, I, I, I may have touched on before, uh, but we're going to, we're going to get into a little bit today because I feel like it needs delving into again. Um, one of the best quotes um, it, you really you can follow in life but you can follow in the chili community um, and one that uh, I first heard from Farmer Jay Jared Smith uh, he's amazing um, if you don't know who he is he's, he's one of the he, again, he's one of those people that makes his community amazing um, known him since the early SOF days uh, when I first got into the community as far as mainstream, you know, stuff that they had going on. One of us wins, we all win. And uh, one thing that's been great about this year is there's been a spotlight on the Chile community because of the Hulu, uh, the, the Hulu series, Super Hot. Some people have liked it, some people haven't. Some people have um, created certain thoughts about what should have been done or who should have been featured, yada, yada, yada. Um, I think it's important to remember that one of us wins, we all win. The more spotlight that's put on this community, the more spotlight is put on all of us here in this community. Um, if you really think about it, as far as big burners, um, there's probably about a thousand of us around the world. Um, so it's, it's, there's really not a lot of us, you know, be in this community long enough, you know, you know who the big players are, especially like in syndicate and people that do the, the points or in league of fire or c contests in nuke. If you don't know nuke, they're amazing. They're an overseas pepper group. Um, but there's probably about maybe three or 400 of us out of that thousand that do stuff like that. Um, so that, that, that circle gets even smaller. Um, it's important to, you know, as human beings, we, we, we tend to be narcissistic and we tend to want to focus on ourselves. 
um, instead of just rejoicing in the fact that somebody that you know is having success or the spotlight on them, sometimes it's not all about you. And sometimes uh, that's okay. Um, it's important to remember not to let that put a bad taste in your mouth. And it's important to be able to focus on your friends and what they have going on and rejoice in their celebration uh, instead of focusing on why you are not being celebrated. Um, it's sometimes that's hard, you know, in this day and age with social media and, and, and everybody thinking that their opinion matters most over everybody else's. Um, but we are a collective of groups known as human beings. And, uh, when it really comes down to it, it's a, it's a, it's a group effort, uh, of just humankind and, and loving and, and, and giving and, and being, you know, supportive of your, your fellow man or your fellow chili head. So I just wanted to retouch on that today, uh, with some stuff that's happened recently with people talking bad about individuals. I'm not going to go directly on it, but, um, there's a reason why my profiles, I'll say Pepper Bay LOF. Um, on all my social medias that LOF stands for League of Fire um, because I love and appreciate um, what all three of the founders do for me um, not only as an individual chili head um, or as a friend but what they do for this entire this is, this is just this entire big part of my life which is being a chili head and for all of us that are involved in that they give us an outlet they give us opportunities. Um, they take time out of their days. They take money out of their wallet. Um, and I think the most important thing that and precious thing that somebody can do is give their time because time is so precious. Um, I really appreciate everybody over at League of Fire. I appreciate you giving the opportunities that I've been given. Um, my first belt match was because somebody couldn't make it and I was already going to be there and they said hey how about you come up on that stage and that's that's how my competitive chili journey started I'm super appreciative of that um, everything happens for a reason so I'm very glad that that opportunity arose um, I've got two belt matches coming up this year and really it's not even about the competing it's about spending time with those people um, that I've, I, I get to share the stage with and I get to compete against and call my friend um, because I know at the end of the day, even if I don't win, that one of us is going to win, and I, I get to share in that that moment of triumph that a friend's going to have, and that's that's something very beautiful and very special about that. So appreciate y'all joining me today on this day, Sunday, March tenth. Everybody have a great rest of your afternoon. Remember. One of us wins, we all win. And as always, here on Church of Hot Sauce, may the spice be with you and also with you. Thanks for stopping by, guys.